the Stu and Carly adventure. Heading into the Maunui. We're in the Maunui, going to head down to uh, for over the burn to Tawa Hut, we think, today. Um, they might go up to the Kahanui, we'll see. It's just depending on where, yeah, that's where we are, and then we're going to go in there. And that's the Kahanui, that's one of the destinations we want to get to. Uh, over the top and over the Makakuri and then down to Tawa. Or we might do the reverse depending on what the river's doing and how we're feeling. Lovely bush, predominantly Tawa, mixed with a bit of podocarp. So after half an hour we've hit this bit of track which goes up what's called the burn over into a saddle about 300 metres of altitude into the um, Kahanui, Kahanui water, watershed. It's a beautiful country. Nearing the top of the burn now. Just looking down towards Koranga down there. Alright, we've reached basically the top of the burn. So it's a 300 metre climb. Really neat views. Quite a beautiful little spot. This is the start of the Kahanui stream and a nice little lunch spot and a snooze so I've just uh, hooked a nice little rainbow in here on my dry fly this is here, I'm just going to see if I can land it yeah got them, just uh, Gonna let him go. We just had lunch just there. How nice. Oh, it's been a lovely walk up this valley. Lots of crisscrossing the river. Lots of crisscrossing the river, I'm saying. Ah, oh, looks like it might be. Not far. Touch just up there. <sighs> Looks like we've made it about five and a quarter hours tramping from the car. Bright, isn't it? Nice. Lovely little hut, home for the home for a night. Yeah. yeah. Big open fireplace. Great. Just a bit of ambience by the fire. Mm. Feel our well, fine little hut. It's been lovely in there. Uh, we're going to go just down the river, across the river on that log there, and then we're going to climb this hill here. There's about a 500 meter climb up along, then along along the ridge, and then over to the Makakoi. She said she'd rather this than wet, wet feet. So across the log and then it's a bit of a bush bash. Steep bit of climb here. Too bad climbing up through here. It's a steep climb, but off the track. But the country's quite navigable so far. There we go. We made it down to the Makakoeri hut. One of the few remaining Uruwera huts that's been left alone. I think. Nice spot. It's a bit ramshackled. It's not ramshackled. Let's have a little look. Well, lovely tidy little hut. What a sanctuary. So, uh, really worth holding on to if I get my vote.
So we've uh, got down to this spot, lovely campsite, uh, about uh, 20 minutes above the junction with the Waiweka from the Makakawiri. Nice spot. Home sweet home. Beats a rock, I guess. Beats living under a rock. Pretty cool spot. Oh well, we're just eating a lovely little campsite in the Makakawiri and going to head downstream to where it meets with the Kahununu. And that's where it forms the Waiweka. It'll be about 20 minutes, half an hour. Depends how many pools I try and fish. This is the junction of the Makakawiri where it meets the Kahanui and then becomes the Waweka. And we're just going to head up the track here and start heading out to Mawanui Arodin, which will be about well, probably four hours, I'd say. This is pretty typical Waweka country, really. The track on the side of the sort of a scree of grey wacky. One thing we've seen plenty of this track is on on a tree tree nettle. Pretty nasty, I've got a good zap there and started crawling. Lovely these beaches, benches with tower and potter carts removed. Note to self, this little slip deviation isn't worth it. We went up there last time, took about 10 minutes to climb quite high around the, around the slip and down the track it's actually quite walkable. Descending down from the burn, quite steep, quads are burning, maybe that's where it gets its name from. It's been a lovely day, it's beautiful fine weather up there. Uh, not far now to the car. Well, that finishes our track. Three hours from the road from Tower Hut to the road end. It's pretty good.